Hey guys, what is up? Nick here from eBusiness Boss. Today I'm going to show you how to list a product on Amazon as an online arbitrage seller. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in these types of videos, please subscribe to the eBusiness Boss channel. Let's get into the video. So you found the profitable product that you'd like to sell. You've carried out your product research and you've decided you want to sell this lovely bottle of Febreze fabric. So once you've found your product and you've done your research, you're going to need to find the Amazon listing. I found the Amazon listing here. Now the information you're going to need is the ASIN. So copy and paste the ASIN, head over to your Amazon Seller Central page and you'll see under the inventory tab, there's a tab called manage inventory. So select that. We're already on the page, but just to show you how it works, head over to this button here, add a product. Okay, so paste the ASIN into the search bar here and hit the search button. This is the Amazon listing that we want to list this product against. Over here, you'll see there's a button that says sell yours. Next up, we want to hit that. So we've selected the sell yours button and here's the product listing. So. On this page, you don't need to worry about seller SKU. This is a unique identifier. Amazon are going to create this for you. So next is condition. Now, if you're anything like us as an OA seller, you'll probably be selling new products. So we just select new because that's what this product is. Next up, we've got price. Now, this is going to depend solely on your profit analysis. So before you sell any product or consider selling a product on Amazon, definitely before you buy it, you need to be aware of the amount of profit or the lack of profit that you're going to make, because that is what your purchasing decisions should be based on. So here you can see it says eight pounds. It also says eight pounds up here under competing marketplace offers. And that means the buy box price is at eight pounds. So in order to have a good chance of selling it, we want to match that price. So we'll select match price. You have two options under the fulfillment channel options here. Now the first, the top one, I want to dispatch this item myself to the customer if it sells. This is for merchant fulfilled sellers. So if that's you, you'll want to select that if you send the product out yourself. If you're anything like us, you're an FBA seller, you'll want the second option, which is here. And that's I want Amazon to dispatch and provide customer service for my items if they sell. So yeah, that's Amazon FBA. If you don't know what Amazon FBA stands for, it just stands for fulfilled by Amazon. So that's us. We'll hit save and finish. And next up, you'll arrive at this page. So on this page, you want to check all of the information is correct. This is the SKU I was talking about on the previous page. Um, so Amazon have populated that for us. All this information looks to be correct. So next we'll hit save and continue. So we've got another page here. Now on this page, you'll see there's a column called required information. So this is basically the dangerous goods information. So if we click this button here, um, this is all about compliance. So read through and make sure you answer correctly for your product. So the question's being asked, battery information, does this product have a battery or does it utilize a battery? The answer to this is no for us. Product regulation information. Is this product considered to be a dangerous good or hazardous material regulated for transport, storage and or waste? We've done our research. We know the answer to this is no, but you need to make sure you do your research for your individual product. Uh, if you do have any problems with dangerous goods information, we are shortly we will shortly be loading up another video uh, to talk through how you can deal with this. So don't worry if you're in that position. But let's hit submit. So as you'll see here, this says completed and we're good to go. So let's hit save and continue. So if you've done everything correctly, you'll then be taken to the following page. We're not going to do anything further with this page today. Um, this is basically where you set up your shipping plan. So if you're ready to send your products into Amazon, then you can go ahead and click through and fill out the details as required. We are going to be doing another video to show you how you go through and fill out these details so you're creating your shipping plans correctly. If you've got to this stage, it does mean that your product is listed into Amazon Seller Central. So this is good news. So for the sake of this, we're just going to double check that it's in there. 
So on inventory, you'll see there's a button here, manage inventory, and you will see that the product is here. So this means that we have successfully loaded this product into Amazon Seller Central, and that's how you do it, guys. Like I said, we will be doing another video, it will be on YouTube shortly, to show you how you go about setting up your shipping plan and how you go about sending things into Amazon. We'll also be doing a video on prepping your products so that you know absolutely everything you need to know. And there we go. Nice and easy, wasn't it? If you found this video useful, please hit the like button to show your support. And if you're interested in learning more about Amazon FBA and building online businesses, you should subscribe to the eBusiness Boss channel and you'll be the first to know about these types of videos. More from us again soon. Thanks for watching, guys.